Hinduism understands that God, the ultimate truth, has innumerable attributes. Yeah, there is no God, but okay. These various dimensions of life also exist as personalities who make up the various deities. Uh, proof needed, but okay, let's go with this anyways. Kali is the energy of unbridled chaos and destruction. Okay, let's just play along, okay? I, let's, this is just fantasy, but it could be interesting fantasy, okay? I, I, I like mythology, okay? It doesn't have to be real. She is ferocious and extreme. She yeah, see? Uh, guys, look at their sexy Kali. Who's sexy? Who did it better, okay? My sex... Is this... Like... Oh, come on, guys. Come on. Like, I have to... Like, I don't understand... Look at their sexy Kelly, okay? I mean, yeah, sure, I guess. But then, look at mine. Right? Look at, look at this. And then, and then look at this. Again, India. Look at me, India. You looking? You're welcome. What do I have to do, do to think, get some credit for improving your... I, I improved your religion. She does not conform to the rules or the expectations of society. <gasps> so why do you want her to not be sexy? Huh? Why do you want her not to show her... Oh, she does not conform to the rules and the, or expe the expectation of society? Except you want her to be modest and not be like... Not be suggestive? It sexually suggestive like hey it seems like you guys are saying that it's derogatory if she's being sexually suggestive but then what what would Kelly say what would Kelly say Kelly if you if Kelly was listening to you guys and be like oh my god this is too sexy she's being sexually suggestive she wouldn't be sexually suggestive like this the real Kelly then Kelly if she could hear you she, Kelly would say I do not confirm to your rules or to the expectations of your society of my, uh, yeah. That's what Kelly, this is, you had, this is what Kelly would say. So based on your own explanation of who Kelly is, you do not get to impose your social norms on how Kelly should behave. If Kelly wants to be sexy, Kelly gets to be sexy. <laughs> She is Shakti, pure power and divine intensity. And sexy at the same time. What's wrong with that? Okay, so she's pure power and divine intensity and, and extremely sexy. None of this contradicts the fact that she could be sexy. In the Devi Mahatmya, we hear about the demon Rakta Bija. Why is, again, why do everybody, everybody has a problem with me saying that she's sexy? Everyone's like, oh, Armin, you can't say Kali is sexy. She's pure power. She is divine intensity. You're like, okay, when did power mean, when did having, being pure power mean that you can't be sexy? When did power contradict being sexy? I am, okay, see, is Armin taking new guard instead of Kali? Like she, like, yes! We are. You think the kind of art? Do you think art like this is cheap? Do you think we can like make art? You know how much how expensive it is to make art like this? We are. We're giving. We told you that once we hit 160 patrons, we're gonna make one new art every month. Okay. Um. And if you want more art, then become a patron because we told you once we hit 200 patrons, we're gonna make one more art. One art every week. We're going to switch from one every month to one every week. Right now, we already have the next one coming up. Um, the next one is Kali and Sita making out with each other. That's already uh, being worked on right now. And it looks amazing, guys. Oh, my God. The initial drafts. I already showed you the initial drafts, right? Uh, and it looks amazing. And the, the one after Kali and Sita making out is going to be... Uh -huh, Muhammad, Muhammad and Muhammad and Shiva. Yeah, Muhammad and Shiva making out, uh, and then the one. And again, it's gonna look gorgeous, guys. It's gonna look great. Um, you know, it's not gonna be derogatory. It's gonna be classy, elegant. And the one after that is going to be uh, Kali and Muhammad, Muhammad in bondage, 
and Kelly is going to be whipping Muhammad consensual. Muhammad is enjoying it. Kelly and Muhammad are going to be enjoying some BDSM. I know there's so much Kelly. We're going to move on to uh, after that one. We're going to do Aisha and Fatima. Aisha is going to be over 18, so she's not like obviously Aisha as a child. Aisha and Fatima are going to be making out, and the one after that. Mm, what was the one after that? Oh, uh, the two after the, the one after that is going to be two Hindu goddesses pouring milk and licking Shiva Ling. There's going to be Shiva Ling in the middle, and they're going to be pouring milk on top of it, and they're both going to be like really, you know, licking it. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be so sexy. It's going to be amazing. But anyways, did I miss anyone? No, don't miss anything. City. In the Devi Mahatmya, we hear about the demon Rakta Bija. In the oh, we hear about the, oh, is this a demon that uh, had a fight with Kali? I seen that. I seen real footage of that fight. Is that the same demon? Who has been gifted with a special boon? Any time a drop of blood falls on the ground, a new version of himself springs up. During the battle with Devi, he goes on multiplying, causing havoc and mayhem. In what seems like that's pretty epic, by the way. Like, if you attack him, he will bleed, and the bleed, the blood will touch the ground, and another version of him will grow. So she was, he was like, yeah, if you fight me and you make me bleed, you're going to have more problems. That's pretty, that's pretty, that should be a movie. Again, if, if a lot of Hindus were not so butthurt over foreigners making movies about their god, gods and goddesses, we would have so many amazing epic movies about these. I mean, I remember, I think the Japanese made one cartoon about it and they were, they, a lot of Hindus were so butthurt about it, right? But guess what? They were like, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to say that's going to be offensive. In what seems like a hopeless situation, Kali appears and makes a dramatic move. What does she do? Like a hopeless situation, Kali appears and makes a dramatic move. She spreads out her tongue across the whole battlefield and catches every drop that spills from Raktabija. Mm. The Devi Mahatmya shows us that whenever we are about to be overwhelmed with negativity, Oh my God! Are you serious? You're gonna get. You're gonna try to get a moral mess lesson from that. Like, sure. What a stretch. This is like. Oh, like this is. This is what the Muslims and Christians and do. They take every single story in the Bible or the Quran and be like, the moral of this story is like, I could, you know, I could do this with green eggs and ham. I could do this with like a cookbook if I wanted to, right? I could be like, like I could take a line in the cookbook. And the line in the cookbook is saying like, uh, if this doesn't work, try this. I'm like, this cookbook is trying to tell us that you should never give up on life. If you fail once, you could try again. That's what this cookbook is. Like if the cookbook is saying like, if you look on Amazon and you can't find this, uh, this, re this ingredient for this recipe, you could try this one in instead. Like, look, this is cookbook is a more, is a guide, is a moral guide that you should never give up. Like, you could do this with anything. So that's what they're doing here. Like, there's like, oh, Kelly was in a hopeless situation and she, she overcame that, you know, so, so this is teaching us what? This is teaching us that whenever out to be overwhelmed with negativity, Whenever we are faced with an extreme situation, we need an extreme reaction to set things right. Guys, that's literally half of the stories in the world. <laughs> like, that's literally half of the stories of the, like, you could, yeah, Narnia, right? You just go with Narnia, right? Like, they're about to de defeat, uh, get defeated, and all of a sudden the lion, what's the name of the lion, just shows up and he just saves everybody. So, in the, in, when you need extreme reaction, when, in the extreme situation, you need ex extreme reaction. Like, I mean, what, what every, almost every, every, from every two movies or every two stories, one of them is this. Everything, everything seems to be going. That's what Av Avengers, like Endgame, Avengers End Endgame. That's basically Harry Potter, right? Everything seems to be going to crap, and then all of a sudden you do an extreme reaction and s s solve everything. Like it, you think, like this is oh god damn it. You, oh yeah, what a great moral le lesson. This teaches every. So basically, every story out there is teaching us the same lesson. Then when you, when it, when you lose hope, you need an extreme reaction. We need. A yeah, okay. Yeah, sure. Narnia is Christian allegory, but I mean, again, I'm telling you that everybody has this story. Everybody has this story. Avengers Endgame has this story. Harry Potter has this story. 
Like, tell me, like, movies, tell me any movies that has any, like, you know, is climactic ending that doesn't use the same narrative. An extreme reaction to set things right. I mean, do you guys, did you guys, did any of you watch Avengers Endgame and then went home and think like, you know what, I learned something today. <laughs> I watched Avengers Endgame and I came home and I realized that this movie taught me that whenever there's an extreme situation and we're losing all hope, I need to do an extreme reaction. I, I took that from Avengers Endgame. Is that what you got? <laughs> is, is that, is that, is it, did anybody, did any of you get that out of Avengers Endgame? And if you didn't, like, uh, I mean, why, these people, t you know, just, Guys, just enjoy the mythology of Hinduism without making it something that it's not. You don't have to because they know that it's not. Because they want to make like, ah, oh, Hinduism is a way of life. We see they get so many moral messages from it. They're like, yeah, by twisting it to make it seem like something that it's not. It's just an epic story. Just enjoy the goddamn story. You don't have to twist it into making it something else. Oh, yeah, the, the line was Aslan. How could you forget Lion's <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was Aslan. I'm sorry. This is the Divine Mother as Kali. She is the aspect of divinity. Again, guys, look at this. I mean, this is kind of cute. It is. This is cute, okay? This. She looks kind of cute here, okay? Look at her. Look at her cheeks. Look at her cheeks, okay? That is kind of... That's kind of nice, okay? But, but, again... Look at this! Look at this! Look at it! How could anybody say this is hateful? How could anybody say this is hateful? Look at the entire army of people that came after me because of this! It's an improvement! I mean, to be fair, this is kind of cute. Oh, look at this. She looks like a baby here. that stops at nothing and takes over everything. In the Shakta tradition, Kali is the supreme Brahman. Her wild temperament is the play of the universe. Okay, she doesn't look very... I, so a lot of... Here's the thing. A lot of Hindus told me that, I mean, one thing wrong with your, with your um, depiction of Kali is that she doesn't look angry. And she's supposed to always look angry because she's like energy and force and power. And she's like, she just looks cute in your uh, art. Okay, well, she looks kind of cute and not angry here as well. Are you guys offended by this one? Look at her, she's kind of smiling. She's not, she doesn't look angry over here. So, is this offensive as well? Her dog. Yeah, Kelly is dumb. That's the only issue I have, I have with, like, I, you know, I'm trying to, I know we're in a relationship, but. I'm usually more into subs. For Kali, I'll make an exception, okay? Complexion shows the infinite source. Oh, her complexion is... Wait, her dark complexion. Why is she blue? Kali... Isn't Kali supposed to be black? Some people... I don't know if this is true. But I'm, I heard that Kali is supposed to be black. Because she's supposed to have a dark complexion. But they keep making her blue because of the bias in Indian society against darker skins. Is that true? I don't know if that's true. Somebody tell me if that's true. Uh, Ren is saying seven minutes into the video and I still haven't heard what Hindus should do. Well, yeah, good point actually. Well, actually he said like, you sh okay, so he said like some people attacked me. Um, wait, seven minutes? We're only two minutes into the video. We'll, we'll get to it, don't worry. Shows the infinite source to which everything returns. The Western mind sees the blood and skulls around her neck as something evil and devilish. Oh, the Western mind, the inferior Western mind who has, who, who with peop, the people that don't, cannot understand the nuances of Hinduism, the complexity of Hinduism. Guys, imagine if you talked about this, about, like these people, the way they talk about the Western mind, nobody would tolerate this if they were talking about them. 
the Western mind, like they all, I see this on Twitter as well. Like, ah, you Abrahamic atheists, or oh, these Westerners' mind is too tiny. Hinduism is like this, and the Western mind is like this. It could never understand the complexities of a religion like Hinduism. Their mind is like in a box, in an Abrahamic box, and is, it will never be able to comprehend because Abrahamic religions are so simple and so. Yeah, never mind. I'm gonna get. But imagine again. Imagine if he said like, "Oh, I can't even say this. Can I even say this?" <sighs> the Indian mm, sees this and thinks that. God damn it! I can't even speak on YouTube properly, right? But imagine if he said that. If, if imagine if people, if Westerners came from like, well, the Indian mind. And then anything after that, any sentence after, if you, if you finish that sentence, you would be called out as a bigot, and rightfully so, rightfully so. But again, we have double standards. Um. Blood and skulls around her neck. As By the way, the Western mind loves skulls and thinks it's epic okay don't bull crap me this is bull crap come on this is horse dunk okay the western mind sees the blood and skulls around her neck and around her neck as something evil and devil have you not seen have you not seen the obsession people are? no okay i can tell you the the western mind looks at skulls and Blood and says like, oh, that's metal. That's what they say. They're like, oh my god, that's metal. Okay, don't, don't, don't be like, oh, they don't understand that the blood and skull doesn't make her evil and devilish. Don't bull crap. Yeah, again, I can't say S H I T. Okay, come on, you have no idea. They love this crap. You have you seen their movies? They love this stuff. Devilish, but in Hinduism, everything is divine. There are oh, look at this. Skeptical, look at this, these people who are skeptical commune or something. Like, look at, look at how buttered they are, just because I'm talking about the religion. Look at this. Even though they're supposed to be, like, look at the icon, they're supposed to be not religious. Don't you have to do, don't you have work to do in Saudi Arabia and Iran, you bastard? Look how, oh my god, the butthurt is spilling into the live chat. It's awesome. So great. Oh, Fatima is here. There are deities that are full of light. They are peaceful. There are there are deities that are full of light and they are peaceful and joyous. And joyous. And there are also deities that are terrifying and disturbing. Okay, have you seen the Western people's gods? Trust me, their gods are also terrifying and disturbing. And they have they have hell. Alright? More sadistic than anything in your religion, to be fair. So yeah. The attributes of God span the whole spectrum of reality. This yeah, they say the same thing about their holy trinity and all that crap. Mature perspective is the reason why divinity is glorified in all aspects of life. To the mind and ego that's Oof, this is not this is not Okay guys. They call my art derogatory and they say this is a celebration of Kali. You know, if I didn't know any better, I would think somebody making this was making derogatory. Look at the tongue. What the hell? They find, they find this a celebration of Kelly and my art derogatory. If, you, if people didn't know any better, they would think like, oh yeah, somebody, whoever made this was making fun of Kelly. Seeks control and order. Kali is threatening. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it was like, actually, Zeus... Zeus is terrifying to me. He is an artist. I'm not going to read that. Exactly. Yeah, that's the Western mind has produced terrifying gods as well. And invokes fear. But to the heart that seeks. <gasps> Guys, look at this. This is Kali. Notice something? She's black. This is, I think this is more true to what Kali is supposed to be. Look at it. It's black. Yeah, yeah. So why is it blue? Why is it blue in some other places? She's supposed to be black. Surrender. Her form is full. Yeah, again, Medusa. Yeah, Medusa is terrifying. Again, the Western mind produced Medusa. Oh, 
Guru saying this this Kali is uh, of is in West Bengal. Full of power and mercy. 